I've suffered with panic attacks and panic disorder since the age of seven. Um, and it's one of those things. And when we were talking about Kiki earlier and how it's that weird, it's like you think you're the, it's like you're just worried. And it's just a weird feeling. You're like, I'm just worried, it's fine. Or, and it just gets you like this. You, you could be doing the dishes. And it just, you don't know what it is. And it just, it's like this little flutter and then it gets you. And I've been suffering with it for seven years, uh, since I was seven years old. So, so I mean, did something and happen when you were seven? Or when I just... kind of think back to that moment where I think, where I remember that, that moment distinctly was when I was seven years old and um, I went to, I was at school and um, I used to get bullied quite a lot for my skin because I had dark skin. And um, these boys, they kind of held me up against the whiteboard. You know, when we were younger, we had the chalkboards yeah, yeah. and the chalk would all fall at the bottom. So he, they held me up against this uh, chalkboard and uh, they got the chalk dust and, and, and smothered my face in it. And then I remember that moment being stood there thinking, everybody's looking at me, everybody's watching me, I don't know what to do. And I just, I can, every time I have that feeling, it reminds me of that moment. And so, That's, I mean, that is horrific. It has to and be. That is so horrific. And it, I mean, Kiki's CBT counselor did say that, that it can be a trauma at some point, like that, that actually then feeds right through your life. Yeah. And do you, I mean, so do you have like a coping mechanism now? Or I mean, um, and you do to sort of try and... I think I know, I, I can sense it when it's happening. And sometimes it's just a case of just walking away from the situation and making sure that I'm okay. And, you know, I've been in, in so many situations, it's a brown bag or it's just crying out of my system or, you know, and, and, and there Have are times... Have you used the band? Kiki yeah, has a little band. I, I used to, I had, um, when I was doing Bake Off, it was oh. quite stressful and I had my little elastic band across my hand and um, I would, it, it's this thing where you ping it and it, it kind of, you, you forget why yeah. you're worried yeah. with that little sting on your arm and you forget why you're worried in the first place and I used that in Bake Off and I remember week five or six, it, I pinged it so much, it broke off and I thought, oh, what am I going to do? So I tried to tie it back really quickly and it wasn't happening and then it became about that big and it wouldn't go around my wrist and I thought right well I'm just gonna have to do without it and I haven't worn it since Nadia, so that's really good. Nadia, what about your family? <laughs> what, about, what about your family like did they know that what you were going through was anxiety did they recognize that because I mean I mean I know we share similar cultures yeah. but I, I know in our in if, if that was me my mum and dad said oh just stop being silly you, you yeah. grow out of it or they wouldn't have taken it seriously so did they take it seriously I don't think I recognized it as a problem till oh. I became sort of early teens and I thought this is not right this is not normal yeah. for, for somebody to be so anxious that they collapse and go blue you know that's not normal yeah. um, and I recognized that in my teens sort of late teens but as a child it's just come on you'll be fine yeah. come on mm. and, and bearing in mind my parents had two very sick children to look after so I never felt the need to go and tell them that sure. I'm worried or I'm anxious because they had so much on their plate anyway yeah. so mm. it was one of those things where I used to use my sisters as my coping me mechanism but they still are my coping mechanism. So what, what kind of pushed you sort of out into the world so publicly I mean look at some of the comments we've got Danielle who's mm. saying if someone knocks at my door I shake I feel physically sick I can't go to the shops on my own <coughs> Katie similarly saying pain palpitations it takes over you um, Emma saying that she got L who was a, an unofficial therapy dog that kind of got her out. What got you out into the world? I think I, think I know that I'll, I'll, I'll suffer with it all the time. I know I'll always have it because I feel it. Every now and again, it's there. I know it's there. But I think... Um, Challenging myself has made it really easy because what I used to do before was not challenge myself and I'd be so afraid and that in itself was ang created an anxiety in me because it meant I was never doing anything. So now I, I, I welcome awkward situations and uh, difficult situations because it, it challenges me to just say, you know what? you can do this. Mm. And, and I think with time, I don't think I'm going to need an elastic band forever. You know, I think mm. with time, but I think it'll always be there. Um, mm. But I'm learning mm. to deal with it a lot better. And it's one of those things that, it's like you said, it's misunderstood. Yeah. People think, oh, it'll go away, it'll be fine. Yeah. But actually, it's a real problem. It just gets worse. It's a real that. problem. And yeah. we need yeah. to see it as a medical, you know, yeah. it's a medical issue and, and you know, yeah. it needs yeah. to be recognised. Yeah. 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 Well, finally, we've just got a tweet in from Sam Bailey, you know, the X Factor yeah. uh, winner. And she, is she? she just tweeted us told us that she suffered from uh, anxiety I think it was oh. back in 2012 yeah two months she's off work and she just could not go out and she's got that worry mm -hmm. that it just yeah. might come come back again so mm -hmm. I mean it can affect people regardless of yeah. you know their experiences yeah. or and it's funny isn't it you look at people on television Zayn Malik we started with you think a pop star has got the world at his feet yeah. this gorgeous boy and yet still Adele you know there can be that little thing inside mm -hmm.
If you've enjoyed that, then why not click here for more? And don't forget to subscribe by clicking here so that you never miss out on the best Loose Women moments.